how much will Hurricane Sandy cost? What is the economic impact? We'll have that and more right here, right now, on an early edition of the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Before we get to it, we have breaking news. President Obama will visit the state of New Jersey tomorrow to survey the storm damage. We're just getting that in now. We're expecting President Obama here, just south of us in New Jersey, uh, to survey the storm damage. Well, let's get right to the news on the economic front. What is the economic impact of this storm? Dow Jones Newswire reporter Josh Mitchell joins us now to assess the storm's damage. Josh, thanks for joining us. Sure, thank you. So economists are busy trying to tally this. It's before we actually get to some numbers, what, what, are, we, what are the problems we're trying to assess damage at this stage? Well, there's two types of, of damage we're talking about here. One is property damage. So how much damage is there to people's homes, to office buildings, to roads, to the subway system that gets people to work? Then the other type of damage is the loss in business ac activity. Uh, and that's what we're concerned about when we talk about what the effect on GDP growth will be from this storm. So when we're talking about loss in business activity, we're talking about we're going days without people going to restaurants, without people going to the mall, without people buying cars or houses. And a lot of a lot of that is short term. And so, you know, the expectation is while there's a short term blow there, that'll ultimately pick up once the effects of the storm ease and people do go back to shopping. Um, so that's what we're trying to assess right now is what is the damage uh, in these in these days that we're going without this business activity. This is also a time when a lot of businesses aren't able to make products that they normally make. So, you know, there there are a lot of companies that have that have been shut down, and that that ultimately affects growth. No, no, it does. Now, one of the things I know with some some products and services are completely perishable. A hotel rooms, for example, if you don't have anyone in the hotel um, in, in a given evening, you can't uh, then go back in time and fill it when the storm has passed. It's gone forever, right? That's a bit of a problem, too. The same with the airlines. Yeah, so some of these losses will will never make up. For example, if people didn't go to a restaurant on Monday, it's not like they're going to go out on Friday and and go to the restaurant twice to make up for the fact that they didn't go on Monday. But we are talking about sort of a shifting in funds. So if people don't go out on Monday, that does give them extra money that they might be able to use it elsewhere. So on net, I think the expectation is there won't be a much of there won't be much of a loss of growth over the long term, but this certainly does have a short term blow and some companies will be hurt more than others. Um, restaurants, for example, might be hurt more than car than, than, than companies that sell cars, because I think there might be sort of a slowdown in car sales this week, for example, but that doesn't mean that people who needed a car this week won't end up buying a car next week. So, well, so, so some of these, yeah, go ahead. And some, and some people who thought they, they didn't need a car this week are actually going to need a car now, and that will possibly right. come out of insurance company pockets. Uh, we've seen lots of cars piled up, flooded, crushed by, by trees and stuff. What, one of the other things we're, we're hearing about is that obviously the electricity is down um, for, for a lot of people, no power. Um, that may make it hard for, for them to sort of live out their lives and possibly for them to get to work. So th then that sort of impacts businesses in terms of sort of running, running a shift in a factory, doesn't it? Right, and and that's why this storm might be might be different from other storms. Just the sense of the region that it hit, obviously New York City, such a populist region, uh, and and it's it's a big deal when the subway system is shut down. And one thing that we'll need to see is what the extent of the infrastructure damage is, because even though the storm has passed, if there's still damage that precludes people to get to getting to work as quickly as they were able to before the storm that storm that could ultimately slow growth again so it so we do need to see what the extent of the infrastructure damage is but again in the long term i think ultimately we'll make up these losses uh, for example the pickup in construction employment will help us because uh, more more people will be will have work and obviously that will boost sales of things like plywood um, so i think on net uh, things will even themselves out Okay. Well, we shall see soon enough. Thank you very much, Josh Mitchell.